Take one. Welcome back to this. <laughs> Take two. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about Edo again and the new announcement they just launched today. So let's check. Let's conclude. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about Udio again and the new updates that just launched today. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is that on their announcement page, uh, actually on their homepage, they have a little announcement. But when you click on it, this is what it says. Today we are delighted to launch audio in painting. Yes, in painting. Uh, an innovative feature that allows you to seamlessly edit and refine your audio tracks. With audio in painting, you can select a portion of track to regenerate based on the surrounding context. That makes it easy to edit single vocal lines, correct errors, or smooth over transactions. Transitions, sorry. So you can create the perfect track. The interface is experimental and will continue to be updated over the next few weeks. In painting is available for subscribers starting today. We're excited to see what you make the best of it. Okay. And then also they're announcing uh, subscription models now. Uh, so they have a tiered model uh, designed to provide you with flexible options to best suit your needs. Our standard tier gives you access to 1,200 credits per month, allowing you to generate 1,200 approximately 30 second clips. And it's priced at $10 a month, which is not bad. For those more extensive needs, our pro tier gives you access to 4,800 credits per month and it's priced at $30 annual. Uh, and annual subscriptions receive a 20% discount. Both standard and both pro benefit from the uh, priority generation queue, along with our most advanced creation features and the ability to upload custom cover art and user avatars. We're also happy to, uh, to be able to continue a free tier, which will offer users a monthly refresh of 100 credits, and as well as daily top off of 10 credits, which must be used the day that they are granted. All existing users will be automatically enrolled in our free tier and receive 400 additional credits to thank them for being early users. So if you don't do anything, you'll get uh, five, I guess 500 credits, right? Yeah, 500 credits a month to use. Finally, based on user feedback, we're adding the ability to select the size of the context window used in extensions. This means you can adjust how much of the previous audio is seen when generating the next clip from one second all the way to two minutes and 10 seconds. You can find this option under the advanced control toggle in the extension mode. And if they said they'll go on to talk about it, it's only been a month and they feel like it's been a fantastic reception, which I think for the most part, there's been some I even I'm, you know, hated on it here and there, but uh, I do think that they're working really hard uh, to create a great product. That being said, uh, let me show you the what their pricing looks like now. Uh, didn't have anything like on like this on here before, but it gives you the the tiers here. And if you need to purchase more credits, you can purchase 100 credits for three dollars, or a thousand credits for twenty five dollars. Um, and then the monthly, like I said, is ten dollars and thirty, or you can do annually and save, you know, money, and that's eight dollars and twenty-four dollars. Okay. Now, let's talk about the uh, the ex the real exciting news, not the not this not, not the news that makes you pay money. Okay. So I went ahead and done some generations uh, just so to save time and kind of see how well the in painting works. And uh, you can see I've done quite a bit through here, uh, I think. Uh, I don't know how many I've done, but I've done quite a bit through here. Okay, so the song I wanted to do was off one of my last video that I did on here, where it talks about, uh, I was trying to do the stuttering. And um, let's see here. Maybe I need to, yeah, I'm showing the generation trees. Um, Okay, so there was one song that was a stutter, and I don't see the original, but we'll see if this is. Let's pause this section here and. Okay, and take two. Okay, so the original is right here. Um, we'll just play this and I'll click on it and show you guys. This is when I was wanting to do the, have the stutter with the book, 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 book. And, uh, first of all, you, you guys have left some fantastic comments on that video about different ways to try it. 
uh, making it stutter. And uh, all, honestly, all the comments you guys have been leaving has really been awesome, and I appreciate it, and I'm really enjoying interacting with you guys. So let's take a, just a quick listen to this right here. And... Okay, so you get it. Um, okay, so now like I said, so now we have the option here to in paint. I've already in painted a bunch, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And this is for subscribers only. Unfortunately, the in paint's not free. Uh, but let's ch check it out. Okay, so basically it looks like this right here. And uh, you can add regions, which are this little section here. Is you know they call this the region, or you can clear a region. You can clear that off if you want, or you can add it or add a, a couple more if you wanted to. Um, and then if you wanted to pick a particular song, part of the song, like for me, I wanted to pick that part where it was like, talked about the book, book, books. I wanted to redo that. Okay. And so I, I've messed around with it a few times. Just trying to get this to go over. Um, messed around with it a few times to see what I could get done with it. I'm just going to, if you click right here. It'll, it'll, it'll start the song from there. If not, it'll, it'll start it. It'll start it all the way from here. I believe that that's how it is. Yeah. So, uh, but if you click on that little uh, region button right there, I wish it had uh, the ability to move down the track easier, um, like uh, like you would in Logic or you know a DAW. But anyway, that's where we're at. So let's see where we're at here. Hold on. Okay. So that's pretty close where I'm wanting. Um, and what I've, I've tried several different things. I tried to shorten it just to where it was on the book part. But you really, it says you want to uh, have any of the, the lyrics changes should match the section selected for the end painting. Okay. So I'm going to change this and just have it say book now. Which was the original verse, okay? And let me see, let's see where this is at, and make sure it covers. I like to just go ahead and just have this section here caught up in memories, like pages of a book. Just, uh, I'm just gonna try to just have it redo that section, but make it just you know clean without the book books, okay? So let's see what this where this is real quick. I wonder if I can zoom in. Oh, I wish you could zoom in on that. If you could zoom in, you could really get down into the nitty gritty. Um, yeah, look here. And I think this this might be one of my uh, might be an issue with this particular one. It says only select to shade at regions are visible within the top waveform should be in painted. So this is a rock song. So it's kind of there's not a lot of you know. Uh, wave movement it's just kind of da, 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 constant so okay so go into there okay now here you notice you got to use these little uh asterisks so just come down here and add three asterisks in front and if you'll notice down here you only have one asterisk sector in your lyrics so it means you got to add the other one to the end of your lyrics right there now i'm going to go ahead and prompt this but then while we're waiting on that i'm going to show you some of the basically the prompt fails that i've received doing this okay so okay so here's some of the stutter edits that i've done and what i'll do i know it's around 24 seconds i'm just going to click right into it so you can kind of hear what it's doing um we'll start here okay so on this particular one if you'll notice it has boba book still on it but it has hyphens instead of commas um so i was just trying to see if i can make it stutter again so let's see what it does and i'm gonna go ahead and Up 
but now I'm flipping through. So you can see that it went, it did do something to that part. It just didn't do what I was kind of hoping it was going to do. Okay, let's try another one. Um, I'm not going to try every one of these. I'll just, I'll just give you guys some examples of some of the ones that they did. Um, oh, is that the new one I just did? No, that was another new one. Okay. Um, let's see what this one did. Okay. The one I was just on. Okay, let's try this one here. So then I changed the lyrics all together and I did it caught up in the memories. My life was an open book. So let's see what that does. Every promise that fell through. Cut it the big fun away. Cut it your price set away. Started up by hearing through. Trying to rewrite the look. Okay, so that didn't work out either. Um, it did say that it was still a work in progress. So, uh, I'm going to say I have hope for it. I think it's going to be really cool once they get it nailed down. Um, let's try one more of this one. See what this one does. So it got a little closer. Um, wasn't quite there yet. Okay. So, um, on this one here, I, what I tried to do was to um, uh, extend a version of the song to make it just instrumental, like from one section uh, to the other. I guess I should show you what the original sounded like. Um, here we go. Here's the original. This was just a song about a tornado. Um, and I tried to extend the end section. So I'll try to find that part real quick. Here. Now, nothing wrong with the part. I was just seeing if I could make it um, without it. Okay, so here's the first version of that. Okay, so it kind of didn't know what to do with it. Um, it said, I think, chills and thrills, maybe. I don't know. It was a little weird. Um, so there was that. And then I uh, did like a long vocal take. Uh, and then the second one was like this. Okay, so neither one, it, it, it really couldn't get it there, neither one. So, that, but that's okay. I really, like I said, I do think that this is going to pan out once they get it all figured out. So this one here, if you remember at the beginning, this is the one that I changed it just straight up to book. So let's see what we did here. Okay, see, so it completely fixed it. Uh, and that was uh, actually really good. Uh, let's see if it did it twice in a row. Maybe I done the bottom one first. I'm sorry. Let's try this one. Wow. Okay, so that tells me that maybe worth me trying to do... Well, no, because the one, I, I changed the lyrics all together. But, so I'm not sure why it worked this time, but it, I'm glad it did. So you guys can see that it's going to be a tool that I think is going to be really useful, uh, especially once we uh, get to, um, you know, get to uh, get this thing tweaked out really good. Um, and I'm not sure. Maybe you can change all the lyrics, uh, I guess, because you could, you know, move and move your section here, your region, to as, as much as you want. So you could probably change. If you didn't like the whole verse, you could change the whole verse, which would be amazing because sometimes, it, you know, you like the melody, but you don't like uh, maybe one word out of it or something. So that's pretty cool. And one other thing here, like when you guys go to extend, I think I talked about this on the other video, but there is now you can select a section from where you want to extend from, uh, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, and uh, you just 
It says here, if you select a section of the song to crop before the extension process occurs, this is a non-destructive operation that will not affect the original song. So that's something pretty cool. I wanted to share these updates with you guys, and I wanted to thank you all for all the great comments that you've been leaving about uh, Suno and, and Udio and uh, all the AI stuff we've been talking about. So i got some uh, other great AI stuff coming up, and uh, thanks for watching.